This episode is sponsored by Lino, the world's largest independent cloud computing provider. Stick around, I'll tell you, you can get $100 in credit on a new Linode account. So the iPhone 12 with the A14 Bionic is out, and every year the performance of Apple's latest processor is a hot topic, but this year even more so, because we now know that the M1 chip that will power the uh, new ARM-based Max will use the same Firestorm and iStorm CPU cores. So the question is, is the Firestorm and the iStorm CPU cores any good? Are they an improvement over what we find in the A13? Well, if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run a speed test G on the iPhone 12 and compare it against the iPhone 11 Pro Max. One has the A14 in it, the new iPhone 12, the other has the A13 in it. And we're going to see how much of an improvement you get in the new processor. And that will also help us have an idea about the performance of the upcoming Macs. Okay, let's get started. So we have the iPhone 12 with the A14 Bionic on the left hand side, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the A13 Bionic on the right hand side. Both devices have been upgraded to the latest iOS 14.2 at the time of making this video and already we can see a clear lead being developed by the uh, iPhone 12, it's already into the JSON test, it's now gone into the compression test as the A13 is just now going to the great test, so a lead being built up. Of course the question is how much of a lead we're going to see as we progress, there we go, it's into the 16th thread test already, so that's looking pretty good and that's a good performance of the 16th thread test as the uh, iPhone 11 is now also into the 16th thread test but there you go the 12 has gone the first into the blur test of course the beginning of the mixed CPU GPU part of this test and here we go now into the blur test on the right hand side but already in foot scrolling on the left hand side coming up is the smoke particle test we can see what the 2D frame rate is now on these two devices what's the left 53 52 that's amazing on the left as the iPhone 12 is now already into the UT test on the right hand side, it's still into the smoke pipe with 31 frames a second. So a big difference in 2D scores there. As the iPhone 12 now comes to the end of its run, where we go one minute, three seconds on the nose. And already the uh, iPhone 11 Pro is into the UT test, going down to the water. It will come now to the end of its run. What's the time going to be? There we go. One minute, 12.5. Okay, let's break down the scores and see what happened. This episode is sponsored by Linode, the largest independent cloud computing provider. Whether you're an experienced developer, user, or just starting out, you can build on Linode. Start from scratch and fully customize your server for any application, or use their one-click apps to deploy game servers, websites, personal VPNs, and much more. Whether you just need a basic website for your portfolio or a beefy GPU instance for AI, scientific computing and computer graphics projects, Linode has the flexibility and the scalability to meet your needs. If you run into any trouble during setup, Linode comes with amazing 24-7 customer support by phone or ticket, along with hundreds of guides and tutorials to help you get started. Sign up today at linode.com slash Gary Explains and get $100 in credit on your new Linode account. The link is in the description. So as we expect, a win by the iPhone 12 with the A14 Bionic, uh, 1 minute 3 seconds, and then 9.5 seconds later came in the iPhone 11 Pro Max with 1 minute 12.5. What happened? CPU, big gains here, 32.5 versus 38, and those big gains really, really are good for what we're expecting from the new Max. So 32.5 versus 38, that's a difference of 5.5 seconds, significant gains there by the A14. When we get into the mix, CPU, GPU, again, good gains here, 17 seconds versus 20. 20.5 is a gain of three and a half seconds for the iPhone 12. And then when we get into the GPU, 13.5 versus 14.0. So some slight gains there by the iPhone 12. But overall, a convincing win. One minute, three seconds for the iPhone 12 and the A14 Bionic. And there you go. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. Now, if you don't know much about Speedtest G, I do have a whole dedicated YouTube channel just to Speedtest G. You'll find the link in the description. There's also an FAQ where you will have some of your questions answered. And there are lots of questions that people ask, and I have answered most of them in the FAQ. Okay, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these types of video, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.